ALF in so many ways has helped me become a better leader and a better person, hopefully a better husband, and a lot of other things in my life. I'd like to think that I'm a good leader because I listen well and that I know when to step out of the way and let other people take the lead. And what I've tried to do my whole career is surround myself with the best people I can, not just staff, but volunteers and friends and people who can advise me. And then again, when I can, step out of the way and let them take their ideas and move forward with them. ALF in part teaches that, the idea that you can't do it all yourself and the organization that you lead, if you lead one, also can't do it all itself. So help form networks, get out there, meet people, go to events, talk to people, especially people that you are inspired by. Those connections are so important. It helps create the network that helps make this valley grow and move. The values that are so important to me have always been the ones I learned early on in my career when I worked in hotels. Be nice to everyone, and if you do that, what you'll usually find is that people will be nice to you. Be ethical, make decisions based on the way you would want people to treat you, treat people that way, and try to go that extra mile. Do a little bit more for people than they might expect and that you might have ultimately and originally intended. And if you do that, you'll find that a lot of things that maybe are difficult, in the end they work out. When people think back on my career, I hope that they think back to a man who cared a lot about the people that he worked with and for, and try to do his very best all the time to help. And I hope they look at the Sobrato Pavilion and they say, wow, that was a thing that Chris helped make happen by running that Measure A campaign all those years ago. But I also hope that they write a check every year to the VMC Foundation, and that they help make sure that organization stays strong and grows and is around to help out as our health and hospital system in this county continues to grow and serve more people. I am super grateful to have received the John Gardner Award. I know that I stand now with a huge long list of wonderful, brilliant leaders who have also received this award. I'm also proud to have received it the same night that my honorary big sister, Kathleen King, has received one. That means an awful lot to me. Kathleen has meant a lot to me my whole career. We're good friends. I just want to thank everyone who decided that I was worthy of this and that nominated me for it. And I hope that I can continue giving back to this valley and to ALF to make sure that I stay worthy of it.